Hey everybody, so today I'm going to explain string slicing in JavaScript. String slicing is the process of creating a substring from a portion of another string. This won't alter the original string. Just to demonstrate, let's create a constant for our full name. Go ahead and type in your full name. Or you can copy me. I'm going to extract the first name from my full name and create a new string out of it. So I'll declare this let first name equals. Now to create a substring, we can follow this formula. We take our string, in this case, our full name, dot, then use the built-in slice method, slice. Then we can list a starting and ending index. Where would we like to begin? So the first character has an index of zero. We'll start at the beginning, index zero, comma, where are we going to end? 0, 1, 2. This isn't necessarily going to work, and let me demonstrate. So let's console.log our first name. So my first name is BR. So the ending index is actually exclusive. In my full name, we're ending at O, but we don't include it within our substring because the ending index is exclusive. I'll increase the ending index to 3. That should include one more character, which it does. Now let's get the last name. Let last name equals, again, following this formula, take our original string, use the built-in slice method, state the beginning index, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Mine will be 4. Yours may be different depending on what your name is. And the ending index, 4, 5, 6, 7. And remember that the last index is exclusive, so I'm going to increase that to be 8. Then we'll display our last name, console.log last name. And there's my last name. So the reason that I set the beginning index to be four and not three is because we'll include that space within the result, as you can see here. If you're going to be creating a substring from some position all the way to the end, you don't necessarily need an ending index. I'm going to remove the ending index, and this should work the same. All right. What if I need the first character in this string? Let first char, meaning character, equals take our string. We will use the slice method. For the first character, you can use 0, comma, 1. Then let's display our first character. And in my example, mine is B. For the last character, let last character full name dot slice we can use a negative index even if you're using a negative index you'll begin at the end then by decreasing the number you'll work your way towards the beginning so the last character in my name is e negative two would be de three is ode four is code for code negative indices work as well with these specific numbers that i've listed they're only going to work if my name is exactly this. What if I were to change my first name to be, instead of bro, Brosif, like Joseph. Then let's display our first name, then our last name. First name bro, last name F, which is not correct. To make this program more dynamic, we can combine string slicing with the index of method. We'll search the string for the first instance of a space. Then depending on where that space is, we'll take the first part of our full name and create a substring for the first name. Anything after the space will be our last name. So let's turn these lines into comments. We don't need them anymore. Let first name equals, again, take our full name, dot slice, We'll begin at the beginning, index 0. Now where do we end? We're not going to count the number of characters this time. We're going to calculate it. The ending index will be, take our full name, dot, then use the index of method. Where's the first index of a space? So that is the ending position, wherever there's a space. Then we'll display our first name. Uh, let me get rid of our last name. There, Brosif. 
Now for the last name, let last name equals, let's copy this line of code, paste it. The beginning index will be full name dot index of space. You can list an ending index, but we don't need to. We would like to extract every character that comes after this position, so we don't need an ending index. All right, let's see if this works. Brosif space code. We're including that space. So to remedy this, I can add plus one. Find the first index of a space, then start in the position after. That's why we're adding plus one. Then give me every letter that comes after. And that works just fine. Brosif code. All right, let's go over an exercise. This time we will list an email. Const email equals, why do you go ahead and type in your email? I'll make one up for me. Bro1 at gmail.com. I'll extract the first part of my email to be stored as a username. Let username equals, again, we're going to take our string email dot use the slice method. Where are we going to begin? We'll begin at index zero. That's the beginning of a string. Where will we end? We'll end wherever the at symbol is, but we need to search for it. We'll use the built-in index of method of a string. Email dot index of, what are we searching for? We are searching for the at symbol. And let's see if this works. Console.log, our username. Yep, bro1. Then let's get the extension. Let extension equals, we can copy this line of code, paste it, make a few changes. This substring will begin where the last one ended. And then again, console.log, the extension, at gmail.com. Again, like I said before, I would like to begin after this index. I will add plus one. My username is bro1. My extension is gmail.com. All right, everybody, so that's string slicing. It's the process of creating a substring from a portion of another string. When you create a substring, you won't alter the original. And I've proven that by setting this string to be a constant. You can't change a constant. To create a substring, you take the string, use the built-in slice method, then you can list starting or ending indices. And well, everybody, that is string slicing in JavaScript.